Juliet Radio 2 Tango Echo Radio is answering my call on 17 meters running my new QDX digital high band transceiver. That's my first contact. All right, yes, running almost 4 watts. Here I, it works. My QDX digital high band transceiver started making contacts right after assembly in the shack in the middle of the night huh awesome let's take a closer look at this little guy welcome to my two pine trees qrp forest lab this is linus lima yankee 2 hotel all right so here's my antenna vertical five meter whip I'm trying to tune it now on the 17 meter band because this is the band of my interest. So let's let's see what we have here. 1.2, 1.25, is fine. Everything in the small go box. It's actually a smaller lens box. Even digital terminal fits into the box. My Android phone. Everything set up. FT8 CN app decoding, lots of stations on 17 meters. QDX digital high band transceiver is working out the receive very, very well. FT8 CN app is, is a great app, very convenient to work with on Android. Out the receive. There's a separate video on my channel devoted totally for, for reviewing the FT8 CN app with the low band qdx digital transceiver all right so let's call cq now and see what's the power consumption i'm emitting almost four watts now and i'm consuming perfect 850 milliamps and on receive 140 150 milliamps well everything accordingly to the specs 17 meters is a band of my choice i like it very much and actually the major task for this qdx high band transceiver will be surely working on, on 17 meter band all right while i was talking so i've made a contact with the with oscar kilo 5 nancy whiskey okay perfect now the transceiver goes into calling cq automatically i just left the lid unscrew in order to show you something what's inside the board revision number five and it's the latest the latest and greatest of all the hans innovations like you know all these buck converters for the power supply all the chips and everything these are filters as you may notice on the high band version all the ferrites are black they all are you know for for the high frequencies i've been trying to pick uh, i've picked a bit you know uh, to, to get to get most power on uh, 17 meters also on 20 meters but unfortunately on 10 meters it's it's less i'll tell you about that in the second as it comes to the power output so i've read a very nice comment by hans g0 upl himself in the io groups for qrp labs he said and he wrote that from one quarter to one third of uh, QDX digital transceivers for high band, high band versions uh, are sick with the low output power on 10 meters. Accordingly to Hans, there could be numerous reasons for that. Uh, he lists probably 20 things to check uh, in order to cure this uh, low power output problem on 10 meters but uh, bad news is that Hans uh, confirms that you know neither of these methods how to make uh, the output bigger on 10 meters works for all sick transceivers universally one method like you know rewinding the the binocular transformer works for one transceiver and it cures 100% uh, the other method, like, you know, rewinding some low-pass filters works also, but only for that transceiver, not for all. Accordingly to Hans, uh, it could be some parasitic resonance on some transceivers. I've just connected QRP Labs dummy load to my QDX 
uh, and I switched to 10 meter band in order uh, to check the output power on 10 meters. Okay, it's transmitting. On 10 meters, I'm emitting 3 watts. I also had a pretty low output on 10 meters initially, probably like 2 watts. What I did, I started tweaking uh, this coil. So all the windings are pretty close in the center part of the, of the core of the toroid. And this helped me, you know, to get up to 3 plus watts of output. Tweaking uh, these coils on different bands, like, you know, starting on uh, 20 and then the upper bands you can get you know what you can get uh, I, I want at most to be peaked on a 17 meter band I did it uh, I also tried to pull uh, out a little bit the ends of the binocular transformer I noticed there is some reaction while tweaking a little bit these turns even if it's ne nearly impossible but uh, if you are very very careful you may try you know to make them more taut all these windings actually i think uh, if i would decide on rewinding binocular transformer which i'm not uh, with the thinner wire which would you know easier to make a very tidy winding of it then I think, in my case, it would help uh, to make power, uh, output power even better, maybe more equal on our bands. As it is now, it's, it, it's wound with a thick wire, as prescribed in the, in the user manual, in the assembly manual. I frankly has no enthusiasm to disorder this nice transformer and, you know, then solder in again. Uh, while doing all this, you may easily damage the soldering pads of the PCB and then you, you're going to have mess on your, on your PCB. So, again, 3 watts is fine on 10 meters, almost 4 watts on 17 meters, 4 watts on 20 meters is fine with me. I'm going to make many, many DXs with this setup. I don't know what kind of transceiver I got, you know, as you just saw, you know, I'm transmitting 3 watts, nice 3 watts on 10 meters. I think 3 watts fine with me, but uh, if you got something like really low power, 1 watt on 10 meters, then you can think that you are in this quarter to third sick transceivers where you, if you wish so, you may do something and you can cure successfully, but just uh, I can't tell which method would help you indeed in this case so summing up quickly the qdx digital high band transceiver works as good in my case as my qdx digital low band transceiver it's older brother so both are similar except of the different bands the the low band goes from 80 to 20, the high band goes from 20 to 10 meter bands. For me, the band of most interest is 17 meter band in this high band version. I managed to tweak the toroids on the low pass filter uh, to have it emitting something like almost 4 watts of output. On 10 meters, my particular version of QDX uh, digital high band transceiver uh, emits around 3 watts, uh, a little bit more than 3 watts, which I think is normal, but uh, unfortunately one quarter to one third of digital high band transceivers somehow suffer from the low uh, output power on 10 meters. So if you are one of this quarter to one third, the owner of one of these transceivers, so please read the authors and owners of the QRP Labs, uh, Hans G0 UPL uh, comment uh, in the IO groups uh, with a very, very explicit explanation, open and explicit explanation on what could be the reasons and, and how to cure these reasons. Unfortunately, there's no cure for all the sick transceivers but, well, uh, if you read carefully this, um, his advice, you may cure your transceiver successfully. Also, I'm pretty sure that the QDX digital transceivers, the whole range of them, low band, high band, mono band, will keep on staying around on the market even with the emergence of new products from QRP Labs like QMX 
SDR multi-mode digital transceiver because the QDX line is just, you know, pure digital, very simple, very lightweight, pretty cheap and ready to be used as in the shack, as outdoorsy. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Please leave uh, your opinions and your comments in the comment section. How's your QDX is doing? Uh, do you have both a low band and high band versions? Which one do you like most? Do you take them often out of Z? That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace and victory for Ukraine. See you in my next videos. 73. This is Linus. Limoyanki 2 Hotel.